and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at yet another LEGO Custom, and today we're taking a look at Dog Day Mascot. I'm calling it Mascot because he is the biggest one, and he is one of the original Smiling Critters, and he is the last remaining Smiling Critter other than Catnip. I have seen Daz Black play this, and I've seen Jack Jacksepticeye play it, and I've also seen MatPat play it. I've watched all three of their playthroughs of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Currently, it is not on Xbox, so I can't play it. But I feel like I've done my best in making a LEGO Custom Dog Day, as he was definitely one of my favorite characters. So, he was chained up because he was a heretic. He fought against the prototype and wanted to destroy it, whereas Catnap wanted to protect it and worships it like a god. So, like always, they're very much cannibals and ate all the other sort of characters and the smiling critters and dog day was the last one they'd ripped him in half so he had no legs and they had a belt around his waist to stop all of his blood and organs falling out genuinely that is quite disgusting quite graphic and horrific but as you know with poppy playtime and all this mascot horror it is people inside these costumes souls and actual living people so it was someone originally so that's why it has blood and guts and that's what the little smiling critters are eating even though they don't have teeth they're just big gaping mouths which are quite scary um i've actually had nightmares about them quite recently which is awful but uh yeah these smiling critters crawled inside him and activated the chase sequence for Chapter 3. Poppy Playtime is kind of known for its chase sequences with having the best out of them in Chapter 1 and 2. But this one kind of felt a little bit lackluster, but it was a lot of lore that came before it. And it was quite interesting to see how all the little critters went inside him and then sort of took over his body. With this LEGO Custom, the parts that I am using is the hat or the hood and torso from the lego dog costume kid from the lego minifigure series just a plain black head from the mandalorian sets and a red ghost from hidden side as the legs to try and represent all the blood and guts that are dripping out of him a little bit morbid a little bit gross and if you really wanted to make it a little bit worse and add the belt which is holding it all inside him you can have the purple batgirl belt in between these two pieces. Unfortunately, I don't have that piece to hand, so I can't do it, but there you go, here's another suggestion. And if you do want more LEGO Customs from me, please do leave your suggestions down below of who you want me to make, and I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you all have an excellent day, and I hope that I haven't scarred you with this LEGO Custom. All right, bye-bye.